100,000 South Carolina students head to after school programs every day for activities like homework help and arts offerings. Starting soon, it'll also be a place where they can get connected with mental health resources. State House reporter Mary Green has more. The new year will bring this new initiative from the South Carolina Department of Mental Health and the South Carolina After School Alliance. This partnership allows us to expand support systems in environments where young people already spend time. Tapping into the after school helps improve access to mental health care where it's most needed. Data shows more kids in South Carolina are experiencing mental health challenges post pandemic than in the pre COVID years. We have seen a tremendous increase in the number of children that are just struggling. In our centers, we're seeing more kids coming in with um, anxiety and depression. Through the program, staff at more than 1,700 after school programs across the state will be offered training in mental health first aid and trauma informed care so people can look at these kids in a different way understanding that the behavior that they see is not is not just is not bad behavior sometimes it's just what kids can express themselves when they're going through and experiencing difficult situations. These staff will also serve as liaisons between the Department of Mental Health and families to let them know what help is available and make potential referrals. There's still so many families, especially in our, our poor and rural communities, that don't know how to connect to service, that they don't know what's available. They hope it not only expands awareness and access to resources, but reduces the stigma around receiving mental health help. After school programs and the environment is such a flexible setting. It'll begin as a pilot next spring in Florence, Darlington and Marion counties with the goal to expand to other parts of the state from there. We really hope that the pilot will help us, you know, identify some challenges and, and identify some lessons learned that will help us expand. And this program will be funded through a three year grant from the Mott Foundation. The Department of Mental Health believes it's realistic for this program to be implemented in every county by the time that grant is up. Reporting Columbia, I'm Mary Green. And if your child is struggling, the Department of Mental Health encourages families to reach out for help. There's a free online screening tool available at hope.connectsskids.org.